Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I'm going to be discussing my favorite and most used fountain pen ink, Dark Matter from Noodler's Ink. This is one of their vintage themed inks based off of the Manhattan Project in Los Alamos. This is the Oppenheimer image with him with his work and his famous requote, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer was more than instrumental in creating the atomic bomb and working on the hydrogen bomb projects. Just really fascinating to read more about what it was he accomplished, all of the people involved. It's quite incredible. Uh, so this is my favorite ink and I get asked quite often as to why it is my favorite. Uh, the short answer is I just love the way that it writes. Uh, it just, it's magic for me personally. It's a blue, gray, black. So it is a true black ink, but it has a nice kind of grayish blue tinge to it that I really like. So today I will be doing a writing sample on the onion skin paper and Tome Away River paper. And this is the older Tome Away River paper. I get started off by shaking this as well as possible. This is a brand new bottle. I've only dipped into it once. So you want to shake these up really well. That is what Noodlers recommends for their inks is to shake. And if you have heard about Christopher Nolan's latest film, that is the Oppenheimer film that he just released today. I had the opportunity to see it last night. Nolan is one of my favorite directors and I went into it kind of expecting it to be my least favorite of his work and that's what I left with. I loved uh, Memento, loved Tenant, Interstellar, The Dark Knight Trilogy, I loved Dunkirk. Uh, this was just a little bit, just wasn't quite what I was expecting from him, just different. All right, I have two pens with the ink in it. This one is my Kilk Camera Laterna fountain pen. This is the film-based fountain pen. I love this pen. It writes very well. I thought it was going to be kind of a pretty fountain pen. No, it writes incredibly well and I love it. This, I actually have some leftover shimmer ink in, so it's got like a gold shimmer and dark matter. This one is my vanishing point in stripes with a medium nib. These both have medium nibs. This has just plain dark matter. Oh, I'll go ahead and do a swab too. I like having both the swab and the spatter for reference. start off with the regular dark matter ink in the vanishing point pen. And this medium nib does write on the fat side. Slide over a little bit for the onion skin.
that is the vanishing point with the regular dark matter ink. And I'm just going to play with this a little bit. I didn't actually put the shimmer ink with dark matter on purpose. The shimmer ink was left over. I got lazy one day and didn't clean my pen and it's still in there. Just having a blast. I don't know if you can see, but it's come on. Kind of gold and shimmery. See if it'll show up. It looks really pretty when written with. But it's very subtle. that to dry for a few minutes. The inks have been drying for a few minutes. I have the onion skin paper and the ink uh, typically spreads a little bit more on this paper. It did so with this ink. Get a nice gray black. And this is what I love about this ink. Once it's just a little bit concentrated, it is black black. And got that shimmer mixed in kind of a coppery gold and this is the Tomori River paper there we go also shows up black black when concentrated and that shimmer I think that's very appropriate for a dark matter themed ink to have a nice coppery cold shimmer to it. So that's the ink I use the most often. It is my favorite. Close, uh, close to my favorite. I love uh, Noodler's uh, The Nevermore, which they discontinued. I hope they bring that back. I think that was also like a vintage. It was the Edgar Allan Poe themed ink. I hope he finds a way to bring that formula back because I love that ink. It rivaled this one so closely. That and then the Texas Black Bat, which is a Drum Ghouls exclusive. Also a lovely dark black. And the Borealis Black is another one in their vintage line that is a very, very, very deep black. Uh, but this one is my favorite. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'm curious to know if anyone's going to see the Oppenheimer film or if you've read the book or just studied Oppenheimer or the Manhattan Project in general. I'd love to know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.